Hi, welcome back. I'm Wayne Bishop. I would like to share with you a quick tip to check the PCM's ability to maintain fuel control. You may have a vehicle with some type of engine performance issue, low power, fuel economy, Richelin DTCs, whatever. As part of your preliminary checks, try this. While checking for trouble codes and free frame information with your scan tool, graph some simple fuel trim pits. I'm graphing upstream O2 sensors as well as fuel trim. First, let's understand what we're looking at. The PCM is in closed loop operation. It would like to maintain ideal air fuel ratio at idle. It does this by metering fuel by means of fuel injector on time or pulse width on time. It receives feedback from the oxygen sensor. As we see, this engine is running fine. Note the fuel trim numbers are in single digits. What I'm going to do is remove the fuel pressure regulator hose. This will increase the fuel pressure and in turn add more fuel to the engine. Watch the O2 sensor voltage. It should increase quite suddenly and if all goes well, the fuel trim numbers should go negative. This is expected in normal circumstances. If our PCM is up to the task, it'll shorten the injector pulse width and decrease the fuel into the engine. Notice the O2 sensors and fuel trim. Now I'll replace the hose. We should see the exact opposite. This little test only takes a couple of minutes. It will allow you to confirm the PCM's ability to control fuel. Remember, if you know how something works, you'll know why it's broke. Thank you.